Hi everybody, welcome back to XCOM, and uh, we got stuff to do today with chrysalids and whatever good times over here. Yeah, I see chrysalid, berserker, elite lancer, there's a sectopod and heavy mech there. That's a, that's a fun retaliation, they bring the sectopods along. So we got Mr. Shiv. I'm actually gonna bring Witchill because I think he's got the thing where he hits people, so... Yeah, he's got Blade Master and... Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna bring Witch along because we want something to laugh at. No, I don't know. I just want to level someone else. I gave him the armor which he regenerates with, so that should be kind of good, I guess. But yeah, overall, it's gonna be uh, a tough mission, I would say. And oh yeah, I'm gonna give I'm giving um, Pat here the proxy grenades. So we're gonna see how that works out. Which means I may not actually need to bring along his thing. I'm gonna save the grenade for a really really special situation. Oh yeah, I also read this, uh, uh, it was a good read actually for this thing. It says, um, throwing a proxy mine will not break a con soldier's concealment. Uh, so, this is definitely something I think I want to give to stealth. Which is amazing. But it may take like a turn or something, I don't know. It seemed like, it seemed like, like it does a lot of damage. I don't know if it blows up instantly, that's the thing. So, I guess we'll see how they work. Uh, and I don't know why I still have the skull jack, but I don't really see another thing I want to really bring along for this. Oh yeah, I bring motion scanners because there's, uh... The nice guys, so that's how we're gonna do it. Sky Ranger deploy in position for deployment. Let's go save some people. One of our contacts in the resistance says Advent peacekeepers have been spotted conducting a sweep near an outpost in this area. The aliens won't hesitate to kill anyone they find, so we're heading in to protect as many people as we can. Secure the camp and eliminate all hostile forces. Liberty Cove. This is somewhere in like Russia. Definitely looks Russian to me. Those are Russian fires, you can tell. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Alright, let's see. Is there any buildings we want to kind of go up to? Like, I don't think there's really any... Well, there's... Uh, that's actually a nice piece of cover here. I don't think we're going to go that far. I don't know about that. We have to uh, kind of save some people, though. Alright, I'll go. Been troops here. Wow, that's, that's a berserker. Good times already. Uh, you got a running gun. And there's that guy, and there's that guy. Alright, well, our options are kind of limited. If you say so. I mean, is he gonna be able to see anybody if he goes there? Uh, actually, he can. Uh, can I actually. Uh, well, I can inspire someone. Neat. Uh, let's do domination first with that berserker, I would hope. Yeah, he's retarded, so we can Let berserker. We can get him. That's a nice guy to mind control, I think. Alright. I think for myself, we're gonna just, uh... I don't know. We gotta, we gotta get some angles on some guys here. Seems doable. Seems doable. Alright, what do we have here? We have some fanfire. We don't want to kill the berserker. He's our guy now. He's our friend. Uh, we can try and lightning hands him. Oh, we did hit him, which is nice, which means we can now do probably face-off. Let's do that then. Wow, like two hits at like 50%, you know. I'm pretty pleased with that. Alright, I don't really want to go up there. I'm going to be, I'm going to be totally frank with you guys. And hit that guy totally though. I mean, to be honest, to me, it'd be just neat. Uh, we got skull mine here. Oh, actually, can we skull mine someone? Just him. Well, let's do it. Jack Why do we always go on these awkward positions? 
I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like stabbing these people, but yeah, it's gonna cat enemy cache of intel. Let's do that. I don't need an alien facility, I need intel. I'm not really, I don't need that either, to be honest. I don't know what I need at this point. Did we just kill him outright? I guess we did. Uh, it's not a very good chance of killing him. I guess we could just suppress him. Would we be able to see that guy though if we moved over here? Yeah, we could. On my way. I don't like taking chances like this, so let's go right here. It's over there. You, you may not know this, but I really don't like taking chances. Got him coming. And I'm just gonna move over here. Oh, let's see. Can I actually just shoot him? Well, uh, like every 50% shot hit that guy. His full cover literally no moved over. All right, we did it. Oh, Chrysalid's nice. Oh, another Berserker. Oh my god, Berserker versus Berserker. Dude, this is gonna be totally sweet. And Sectopod is over there. Why would you shoot that? Wow, 15 damage. Is that overkill much? Jeez. We're seeing heavy civilian casualties, Commander. We have to stop this. All right. So we got devastating blow. Can't really do this, can I? Uh. A berserker's strength is sufficient to batter enemies to death is nothing more than her fists. Oh, it's a her. This attack can stun and disorient the target. Uh, I can kind of just, like, I don't know what to do now. Let's go maybe go over here with Mr. Shiv, though, to start us off. Yeah. <laughs> See you salvo, bye. Alright, it's one person. Panic removed, what? Alright, let's see, what's Witchel up to here? I don't quite know where to bring him. Depending if my snipers can get shot, which they can't. Naturally, they can't. So it's probably best if I just grapple onto somewhere and get him into a better position, like on this high ground here. But it's actually not that good of a sh uh, sh an angle, anyways. I, I just don't know where to bring people. Alright, Katarn's gonna move up move, here then. Move, move. The Berserker's in a nice open area, so... I mean, a couple shots should go their way. I'm not comfortable with moving any more further up than that, though. I will say that much. Rolling out. Even though my sniper would love to have that high ground, uh, we're not gonna do that. Really nothing else I can do here. Good to go. rest this, the rest of this is fairly dangerous. Move, move, move. The Berserker can't just overwatch, which is bad. I'm just gonna move over here. Alright, let's see if they come for us now. Naturally they do. Please. <laughs> you missed the Berserker? That was like one of the best things we could take over, I think. Like a bunch of Chrysalids. He's got Chrysalid poison on him now. And now he's enraged. Okay, you know what? We can actually see what that does now. The buff will now tell us. Rage. When wounded, can be enraged, granting mobility boost. Alright, so let's see. What does he got here now? Devastating blow. Oh, I see. This, this is like melee attack. How much damage does he do? 5 to 8? That's all he has, though. He literally has nothing else. You missed? Come on. Alright, what else do we... We have a fucking... We have a void rift, actually. Screw these guys. 
Yeah, we he's not really our friend here. The rift opens. No offense to him, but yeah. Apparently that's explosive damage. It's news to me. Alright, Katarin doesn't have his lightning hands yet, so I'm debating how to do this then. I don't honestly have that many options with, when dealing with these guys. What is even in there, though? Oh, we actually took out all the other chrysalids, so... Yeah, Katar can totally come down here and just finish the job. I'm going. Ah, uh, nope. So this would be... Which one's our friend? That's a chrysalid. That's... Is that our friend? Oh, yeah, that one is. So we want to take out this guy. Too fast for you. Too fast for you. Did we kill him? I don't think we did. Alright. We have another pistol yeah, shot here. I yeah, I can just kind of overwatch him. Yeah, it's, it, it isn't an actual shot, though. Uh, can I shoot them through the window? I probably can. Sure thing. The answer is no. No, I can't. Alright, it might be up to Jack Witchell to, to save the day. The unlikely oh, hero. <laughs> Hope it's worth it. I mean, he needs actually a level, so you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. If only he hit the first shot, you know? It's very difficult to tell these things, you know? Alright, he can't shoot. Mr. Shiv maybe can shoot, but I don't think he can actually shoot who we want him to, so maybe just get him to, like, hit the chrysalid or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I... That's it? Oh, I thought that would blow up or something again. That's, that's what this has done so far. No, don't get the person! What? Why? What? There was a perfectly good Muton Berserker in front of you. Oh. We need to get these people out of here. Alright, I got another target there. I think it's like a... What the heck is that even? Oh, it's a chrysalid cocoon. Probably want to deal with that. Let's see. Let me we'll fire a pistol. Yeah, we're going to probably deal with him like this. Because we get two shots with the pistol then. Alright, one more shot. I don't know how many turns we have to deal with that thing, but I, I guess... I'm assuming that thing makes a little bit more uh, chrysalids, which uh, we don't want to see anymore. We've had Not enough uh, chrysalids for one day. It always wants me to shoot my little friend there, you know? It's very, it's very, not very nice of this game to do that. Running dry on ammo. Yeah, sure. How many shots does this thing need is the real question. I'm like focus firing it with like everybody. We can can do something psionic to it. Alright, if he goes here, can we even see it? No, he can't. He has to go like a down here? No? Let's go here. I guess that'll be okay. Who else do we have? We have myself. Which honestly I'd prefer to move myself to do something else. Oh let's see, we got soul fire. That's not enough damage. It's not enough damage either. I'd rather use the Oh, uh, maybe I can grant an extra action to Jack actually. Should fear us. Actually, give this a shot. This Jack's weapon is pretty good. Does it does it cost an action though for Can to use? This gives one action though. 
Oh, whatever, it worked out. You got a crit? I think I was that crap ton of health, though. There you go. There you go. Toss me some ammo. Alright, let's move my sniper corrupted. to the top there. Setze Kletterhaken ein. And I think we'll just end the turn on this. Actually, what the? Mr. Ship can still go? Oh. Apparently we had an extra turn from somebody, but you know, whatever. What are you going to do? Alright, and just end our turn on this. Probably should finish him off before the Crystal Poison does. Or maybe not. Alright, so he's going to scout for us. What do we have here? Ah, uh, just these guys. Elite Lancer. Oh, whatever. Just shoot him. Not a kill, but that's okay. The question is, can my Berserker just kind of go in after him? Hey, yeah, now he can't. Which is odd. Well, I think he's just too far out. Uh... Uh, let's see. We may have a line of sight on, on him if we go down here. No, we don't. Katarn can shoot him, though. Oh, no, Katarn can shoot, only shoot that guy. Oh, no, he can shoot this guy. I have a very, very good chance to hit, though, but uh, we'll do it. Nah. If only Katarn had that missed shots thing. Which I don't think apply for the pistol anyway, so I think that's why I didn't bother to do that. Uh, On my way. Not the best cover, but they can't even come in here anyways, I think, because they can't see us. It is clear. They only see that guy, so they're going to move up on him. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. Come get some. Is that everybody? Oh, Mr. Shiv needs to come up here. Ma certo. Son in alerta. And just end the turn. Hopefully he doesn't turn into Cocoon 2. Can't solve that three damage, which is super nice. Check it it's, before you get too it's nice that we can have a Berserker as a bait for a change, you know? Honestly, the most damage you took was for myself, you know? Alright, let's have a look now. I'm gonna just move him up here. <laughs> he, looks, he actually looks pretty awesome when he just moves up this stuff. Uh can't see anything here. I could have sworn there was like a sectopod in this area. Whoops, I didn't mean to actually do that with him. I thought there was a sectopod over there, and I'm going to assume that there still is. I'm going to move him into a slightly better position. Katarn as well. Alright, which is going to, I think, come over... I don't know where here, I guess. Location confirmed! How much ammo does he have left? One shot. You can overwatch though. Except I, I fucked something up where I pressed it too early, I think. I gotta I gotta pretend I'm giving them another action and that I can do it. Yeah, that guy's not gonna do anything. How about Can? What's Can up to? Uh I can can just go over here. That should be okay. I'm on it. And I think that's it. Do I have to finish him off or something? Because he keeps ticking down. Or maybe I should heal him with, with, uh... As odd as that sounds, I'm going to heal him, I think, with, uh... With, uh, Mr. Shiv. Where's, uh, Gremlin heal? Because that, that way he won't get that chrysalid ticking down anymore. I probably should have done that to begin with. Like, when do you ever see this? Like, in, in XCOM, where I'm healing the Berserker, you know? When this in this case it actually kind of makes sense for me to do that because it's like he'll run into them I'm sure at some point. Was there? I think there was another one up here at some point, but I'm gonna just go down here. Uh, 
There they are. All right, let's see what I what I can shoot him, which is excellent. All right, can Kyle shoot him though? Kyle can shoot him. All right, so this may be the one opportunity to actually use a plasma grenade that I actually want. That's a fuel tank. Not a problem. That will likely explode, but I'm going to do this anyways. Just know, going into this, I have no regrets at this time. Throwing grenade. This is the one target we're looking for. So, Kyle has EMP, but I'm pretty sure if I move him up, he's not going to get a good EMP off. Because, from the way it looks... He can't pistol him anyways. He'd have to be, well, he'd have to be right here. You know, that doesn't actually sound awful, because he gets three shots with that. Opposed to his one with the sniper rifle. Which is still, this is a still really good shot, guys. He's nowhere near us, so we're going to do this, actually. Actually, you know what? Uh, Mr. Shiv, I think, already did his action, though. I was thinking, because I now removed some of his... I removed some of his hacking, so... Where's Mr. Shiv? Oh, we can highwire. Guys, dream! We can dream, guys. I have to dream. Because we, e we shot him with an EMP pistol, basically, so his hacking defenses should be weakened. Uh, not by much, but we're gonna do this anyways. Oh my god, we did it! Yes. It begins. How, how long is he going to be hacked for is the question. Alright, you guys done fucked up now. I'm going to move over here. With my sniper. Yeah, I'll be able to get shot next turn. Now this is, the game's lagging actually a little bit since I started going back here. I'm going. Yeah, okay, literally the Berserker is going to be useless here. I'm going to move Kane over here, though. Because we can get a nice Overwatch if they move up. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see what goes on now. Yeah, he's hacked. I think he gets like three actions or something, that's what everyone says. The dream is finally realized. What? Why do you shoot the civilian? There's a sectopod in front of you. To be fair, he'd probably do what I'd do. You did not just do what I think you just did. You fucking did seven damage to this thing, though. It's a lot of damage. Beep beep, sectopod mad. I wonder which one of these is the faces. What the hell? Okay, so apparently this guy was alive. Uh, uh, Pat's kind of burning. This is very laggy, this game right now. <laughs> Let's see. High stance. Uh, this action is free. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just melee me? Alright, what's this? He's got lightning field. Can it emit a blast of lightning in a circular around, around whenever it detects an enemy melee range? Oh. That's, I think that's what he was doing the whole time. He has a wraith cannon. High damage that deals damage in a long line. Firing this cannon requires a sectopod to fully charge a series of emitters. Oh. Oh, wow. Dude, he's got rail guns? Holy shit. That's actually really cool, though. <laughs> he done fucked up. He done fucked up. Hey. You fucking missed. Stupid sectopod. Alright, but that doesn't cost an action, though. I don't think that ends his turn. Yeah, yeah, he can still do something. He can just shoot again? Okay, how many actions does he still have? He's got three actions. I can just shoot him three times. <laughs> this is the best. I shoot him again. Oh my god, why don't the Sectopods do this every time they see me? 
that just makes him overpowered as shit, you know? He's got no ammo, so that's a good thing for me, actually, to be honest, because if he next turn he decides to go rogue, then I, uh, I have something to do with him. All right, I think I want to deal with this guy. Running gun. Roger that. that was amazing. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, that's not a good position for our, our good friend Jack. Uh, uh, who we got shots with? I don't want to shoot that. I don't want to shoot that either. We have so many friends with us. Hey, we're gonna dead eye this. Ah, you just one hit it. All right. You're useless, Jack. Apparently. Apparently, Jack's just there for the the site information. All right, one sec, Berserker. You know, it, this is it, this feels more like an RTS where I'm just like taking control of all the enemies and just having having a laugh at this this stuff. All right, here we are. We're here. Do a devastating blow. Why can't you do it? Oh, there we go. Now you can do it. Hey, hit him. Oh my god, this dude, the sectopod is way cooler than you are. I'm not sure how that makes you feel. Let's see. Uh, maybe we can do a dull lance. The mind rail beams. Heading out. We're gonna go over here. I don't know. I I think we should finish off the sectopod, to be honest. But that's just me. Apparently his hack action was free, which is interesting. Uh, we're gonna do, I think, actually, what the heck? Whatever you say. Kyle never took an action. I'm on it. Alright, I guess we're just gonna overwatch everybody. Why can't he overwatch? Is he, he's not out of ammo, is he? Why does he have no overwatch? Unit is burning. Oh, well, that's that's a big deal, I think. I guess just dunk it out. He's still hacked. I don't know how long it's gonna last for though. I wish the I wish the game would really tell me that. It maybe does tell me, and I just don't know. <laughs> Where did, where did that come from? It tickled. Oh my god, that's amazing though. I think I gotta deal I think I gotta deal with him though. Where's the sectopod? I wonder how many turns he's hacked for. My control no no, that's not him. It doesn't actually tell me. Okay, let's reload him. And then, easiest. So we just reloaded him. He's got two actions left. I'm gonna move him to flank. La di da di da. Dude, I dude, I can only hope that I can play this in multiplayer with this fucking thing. Wait, oh, that that costs two actions? No, come on. Oh, this game sucks. That did cost two actions. I think I sprinted. I I thought it, it looked blue, so I thought it was okay, but apparently not. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go kill this guy. There we go. Finally, we did something with him. All right, I think I gotta go put old Betsy down now. Apparently, uh, he's got a lot of uh, HP. Where's Kyle? Kyle's got to put him down. It's like old Yeller. Sorry, boy. I don't know when you're gonna not be hacked anymore. All right. Everyone press F to pay respects to. Sectopod. I don't know, we didn't even name him though, so he wasn't important enough, I guess. I wish that hack was... I, I wish it would, honestly, I wish it would tell you when the hack is going to end, because that, like, that's kind of important to me. I don't know when it... When you don't know when a Sectopod is going to turn on you, that's kind of a big deal. Berserker or that guy. Let's try and kill that guy. I uh, dealt with him. Okay, so I got one. <laughs> a weapon spent! Alright, I think, I think it's faceless time, guys. Everybody's favorite time. 
I mean, you know what? This the, I consider this run successful because we actually managed to. Oh, there's another one right there. How can we not see him? Or did I already take a shot? It's possible I already took a shot. I guess we'll just sigh him, and then that's it. I need ammo. The tissue melts away. The tissue melts away, guys. Oh, that's it for him. That's it. Where's uh, where's Mr. Shiv? Let's uh. Aid. Oh, no, no, we're gonna heal Pat up just so he doesn't burn anymore. Cause I, I don't need him. I don't need him in sick bay for like an hour and a half. You know, we kind of may need him for another mission. I wonder, can you skull jack a faceless? Cause I, I, I'll be honest, I don't think you can do that. It, it wouldn't seem right to me. Oh, he can jump pretty high. So apparently I still had a sniper overwatch. I thought I could take a sniper shot. Alright, Jack. This should be a really easy shot for you. He's not gonna melee, is he? Oh. Now he's just gonna point at us with his claws. Just sort him. I think we're done. We even got that Medicine thing right there. Status yep. confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. We automatically pick up that. Mission accomplished. We're wounded though, which is not the best, but whatever. What are you gonna do? It's still. It was still pretty good. Hopefully, Jack actually got a level up from this, cause we need some levels in something. That's all I have to say. I, I find it kind of awful that he's still like, I think he's like the second level, but he got like, I think two mi two kills this mission, so he should be okay. That's all I have to say. He should be okay. Overall, pretty good mission, you know, we, we took over a sectopod, we took over a muton. The muton lasts the entire mission though, actually. Probably could have killed him with someone that also required a, because I think that also counts for experience now that I think about it. Oh well, hindsight is 2020, I guess. At least Ken doesn't have that stupid ass dodge module. So let's see what we actually got from that mission, fellas. Yeah, Jim Bay got promotion. So we're gonna do Blade, Blade Storm with him, because he's gonna be like our Antley Chrysalid soldier. Although, yeah, that's actually interesting. I don't know. No, I'm just thinking of reconcealment. Yeah, we're just gonna make him melee guy, so it works for me. We got advanced scope, scope, data pad, and stock. A lot of actually really low tier stuff though, unfortunately. Hello, commander. Monthly, okay, so we got more supplies, loan scientists. No, okay. I mean I think our scientists are fine. But that's just me, I guess. That's like the least of our troubles. Yeah, we don't need alien alloys. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do this. Why does it cost that much? Why does it cost that much? Whatever, it's our last one, so who cares? Setting course for Eastern European Ward. And when I do this, it means our weapon upgrades, or so weapon foundry projects are gonna be instant, so that's nice. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. As if the typical muton wasn't aggressive enough. This hulking beast seems dangerous even in death. I will be more than happy to dispose of it once I file my report. Overdrive serum. Uh, boosts the soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage resistance for multiple turns. Uh, it can be used in combat once and it will be removed from the soldier's inventory permanently once activated. Interesting. Alright, that's it. That's all for that research. No? Like, it d doesn't know I'm trying to do research in another place. Alright, Avatar Autopsy. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished. 
Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. We had such hope for you. I believe we have found our avatar. Okay. I, I kind of knew that the elders were in there. Was it not the, the, the case? I, I guessed it. I thought it was implied, but I guess now they kind of confirmed it. Reading you loud and clear. There we go. We got, we got more bonuses. So let's see. Can we actually get a decent heavy weapon that isn't total trash? Is the question. So is everything instant now? Yeah. Well, no. One in seven days. That's just skulljack, though. All right, experimental powered weapon. Uh, oh, is that? What, did I do heavy weapon last time? No, I want a powered weapon, right? Yeah, let's try that. Shredstorm cannon. That's the exact same thing I already have. I may have done the other thing though before. How many cores do we have? We have two more. Um, let's try another grenade. A gas bomb. Okay. Uh, that's like the upgraded version of the gas grenade. I think we used that before, didn't we? Or was that acid? Or something, I don't know. I think I might make actually another race suit. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Nah, we don't need another one. Let's get another powered weapon. Plasma blaster. Okay, that looks. this looks actually like something different for a change. That looks good. Alright. Instead of stupid rockets all the time. Alright. I guess, what do we have to do now? I guess we're just waiting for... The Avatar Project research to continue. I don't feel like doing that thing, so... So we'll just go gain intel or something. Or maybe maybe we can go to black market. What do they want for this? They want intel. Setting course for the Eastern U.S. precinct. Maybe I can get some more PCSs. You know, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna unlock the last mission now. Oh, there you go. You just got sustain. I guess uh, it can be cast on allies, rendering them immune to any attacks and stunned for one turn. That's that's a good upgrade. Uh. Let's see, we're not, we're not even getting intel from doing this, actually. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you and our only option to traverse the alien portal. 
We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Nah, let's go now. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. Alright. That's, that's it? No shadow products available. I await your orders, Commander. Yeah, it's just... see a number of valuable applications. That's it. Priority message for the commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. He wasn't a traitor after all. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. I guess we have no more money coming in. That's how we need to definitely upgrade upgraded quad turrets. Defense facility upgraded. You can get off that. And you go into quad turrets. Wait, what? Oh no, no. Wait, we already have someone on there. The hell do we do then? I guess nothing. Okay, yeah, fine. You can get back on there after all. There you go, buddy. Alright, well, I, I don't see much of a point in waiting, so might as well do it. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. Uh, we got some things here for this. Look at this, squad-wide individual concealment. We got some intel options now, which is interesting. But let's uh, let's wait. It let's wait a little bit. I don't know if we're allowed to wait, so that's why I quick saved it. Because we got we got research going along and stasis shield training, so let's just do those things. Actually, apparently the stasis drop is happening anyways. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Greetings, Commander. Sign research now. Ah, oh, there's another one. I'll see that work begins immediately. Should we just wait for the next one. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Or, or I guess people are kind of dying right now as they wait. Although we're not waiting incredibly long. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need Guys, to what's a couple fast. million lives? In retrospect. With getting some intel, guys. Come on. Let's, go, let's at least wait for that. Alright, they've done this. Alright, maybe we should go. <laughs> Commander, 
we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. You mean like the, the giant last one? All right, carry on. Let's uh, actually wait. I don't know. Let's see. What, what else can Ken do at this point? Uh, I'm just gonna try and wait for that last data pad. Then I'll go. Okay, guys. Let's see, let's train Ken. That's the last thing he can get. That's not really a big deal to me. So I'm just gonna try and get the last data pad. Then we'll do it because I think by then I'll have enough uh, intel. It, 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 oh, it is increasing my intel a little bit. Oh, god damn it. Fuck that then. Alright, fine, let's just go do it now then. Where is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see, 96. Oh, let's see, what do we want? We want squad precision. Or crit chance, sure. Blitz. Concealment. That sounds also pretty good. Squad aim increased. Although, having more aim is actually much better than that, so. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only deploy once we're... We are so okay with that. Setting course for the Western... It looks like this is the last mission, guys. We're doing the last mission. If we're going to infiltrate the Advent Network Tower, we'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Wow, I think it's gonna be me, Pat, and I don't know who else. Maybe Stealth. No, no, can't, 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 can can take someone over. Here's the problem. Um, if someone needs healing, it's too fucking bad. I didn't even use the proxy grenades, so I'm kind of afraid to even use them. I'm gonna do regular grenades. What's this? Pla Let's see what this plasma blaster does. Fire plasma Le releases a beam of devastating energy in a straight line, capable of. Dude, it's railgun. Dude, it's actual railgun. That's awesome. All right, we we will do this uh, next time, guys. So, I guess this is gonna be our last mission, except it's I can't pause it. So remember, we will be watching. <laughs>